Hi, my name is Adam Fife, and I'm with Parkbench.com. And today I have the absolute pleasure of talking with one of my now good friends, Melba, with Bowness Soapworks. So, Melba, how's it going? It's pretty awesome. That's right. I'm Melba from Bowness Soapworks, Calgary's famous adventure soap club. I absolutely love it, and it's super unique. And uh, why don't you actually tell us a little bit about? some of the soaps that you make here because it is unlike anything that I've ever actually seen before. So the one thing that really sets me apart, um, I started making adventure soap because uh, I've grown up outdoors, foraging, I'm a survival instructor, I have a whole wad of skills. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know. Um, but I decided that I needed something that could basically encapsulate all the things that I do, but mm. still finance the dream that I wanted with my family and spending more time with them because I used to work in healthcare. And so my adventure inspired soaps, whenever you look at my soaps, um, they'll look like the river that, you, that we swim in or we paddle in. Um, they'll look like the mountains that we ski in. They'll smell like, you know, that freshness. Mm. And um, because I only use 100% essential oils, you don't get weird perfumey smells. Like you'll never get cotton candy soap from me. It's always going to be things that come from plants or things that you could eat. And you use 100% all natural ingredients. Yeah, so things that I used to color my bars, um, like anytime you see charcoal or black or like blues and grays, mm -hmm. um, I use coconut charcoal. Cool. And um, when you see like yellows, I use turmeric. Um, I use tea quite often to kind of color my soap. So you'll never see, like I said, like a purple soap or a pink right. soap. Um, oftentimes when you do see that, it's some kind of like a chemical or clay or right. some kind of dye to yeah. give you those colors. Um, one of my favorite bars that has the coolest texture, and it's one of my famous and most popular ones called the Bow Nest Special. So every time I make the Bow Nest Special, um, like every time I make a bar of soap, there's always like leftover pieces. Yeah. You know, when you're cooking and baking, there's always like scrap pieces and um, I'm really about being mindful about not wasting. So I always save as much as I can when mm. I make a batch of soap. I scrape off the countertops and I pile it back up. And then when it hardens, I grate it up, chop it up, and I put it into a new bar mm -hmm. called the Bonus Special. Um, nice, and so every little, every, bit, of little bit of everything, and, and it really is inspired by, you know, I remember when I came up with this concept, and I was like, what am I gonna do with all this scrap stuff, and what am I gonna name it? And I'm like, you know what, like, bonus, like, we're just a bunch of scrappy people that live in this really <laughs> cool neighborhood, and we come together, and we build this amazing community. So um, the bonus special is like a very, very special bar for mm -hmm. me. Every bar is different, mm -hmm. every batch is different, and I always tell people, like, if you like it, you should buy another one, because I might not never make, I might not ever oh, make it yeah, again. Oh yeah, that's interesting. But if you don't like it don't worry because I might not ever make it again yeah. so, that's amazing because right? every batch is just a little different yeah so this is batch 173 so batch 173 oh, that's really cool. yeah okay right on is not gonna smell like batch whatever this one was yeah. like 160 or whatever Melba why don't you tell me a little bit about your soap club because I don't think I've ever actually heard of like a soap club now I might be living under a rock but tell me a little <laughs> bit more about it get out of that rock um, <laughs> So one of the statistics, don't quote me because I'm terrible at remembering statistics. Uh, so most people have some type of subscription. Mm -hmm. So that means they're, you know, whether it's uh, a television subscription or maybe like a, a newspaper subscription, somebody has something. Mm -hmm. So for me, I wanted to create something that people could have access to and that was my soap club subscription. So you get my handmade adventure soap mm -hmm. delivered to your door on my really cool soap mobile. You've seen it, my mm -hmm. motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll get some yeah. B-roll of that. Ooh. <laughs> so you get my um, handmade adventure soap uh, delivered on my soap mobile to your house every three to six months. Um, I ship to US and Canada, but I am really trying hard to focus locally because I want people to understand like to be sustainable and to be more equal friendly. We need to stay as close mm -hmm. to our homes as possible mm -hmm. because transporting goods is not good for the environment, right? Fair enough. And so that's something that I've, I've really been working hard to think about and I've been trying to, you know, really um, work towards local people for my soap club. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you join my soap club and what that encompasses is you get soap delivered to your door, access to over 65 small businesses that give you a member perk. So if you join my soap club, you will get a discount maybe at the local yoga studio. They'll give you a free workshop or a free class. Mm. Um, you'll get a $10 gift card at the Magic Pantry Marketplace, or you'll get um, a $5 gift card at the Greenbrier Refillery. Cool. And so there's 65 of these small businesses that have stepped up 
to reward you for supporting local. That's really cool. And um, and so I'm trying to build this community that's kind of around that because mm -hmm. it is expensive to support local. So how can I help you? You get a discount on my soap. You get a free workshop every year with me. You get my soap at almost wholesale costs mm. delivered to your door. And um, you get to be a part of something that's more than just just soap. Yeah. yeah. Well, why don't we switch here, gears here a little bit. So we've got this beautiful bar of soap that I actually made with my mother uh, a uh, little while ago. So what is this all about? So one of the, um, I guess, like aspects of my soap company is um, educating people and teaching them that you are capable of learning and doing something new and exciting. Mm -hmm. So I do offer a lot of um, workshops such as soap making. Mm -hmm. So I teach a beginner soap making class where people get to take home a loaf of soap mm -hmm. and um, someone as yourself gets to come in with no experience and I provide all the materials and you show up and you can join me for a soap making workshop. So mm -hmm. I'm planning to offer some outdoor ones um, probably on my property soon because cool. it's summer. Yeah. And um, otherwise there's a few locations that I have with in connections with us small businesses that right. I can use like the Magic Pantry is one of the places that I teach soap making. And then the Bowness Community Association, nice. that's another location that I can use. And then um, Icon Dance Company, they're in the south, mm -hmm. um, like deep south, like Legacy. Mm -hmm. So that's another facility that I have access to. And nice. Yeah. yeah. Cater to that side of the city. Yeah. That's awesome. So, and I mean, you know, at any time, anyone can be like, you know, I live in this area. If I help you find a place, like, mm -hmm. can we, can we make this happen? And I'm, right. I'm always open to being accessible, yep. right? That's kind of who, who I am is making adventure accessible for people. Right on. Yeah. So this, and again, all hundred percent natural ingredients. It's really good for people that have a uh, hypersensitive uh, skin to different uh, ingredients that might be put into soaps? Totally. So most of my soaps, um, the base ingredients are coconut oil, olive oil, 100% essential oils, and then I might use herbs, teas, um, plants nice. that to to color them or to add um, extra fragrance. Like from this workshop, sorry all the crinkling, so from this workshop, um, these are roses from my garden and my father's garden that I pick and dry Super cool. that you got to put in your soap. Yeah. And as part of the bonus special, I don't know if you remember, but everybody mm -hmm. in that workshop used the same essential oils and the same plants. So we all in a way created like this magical batch that we are connected to, to together, right? That's you really and your neighbor cool. and your mom. I like that. Um, so that's one of the things I try to um, encourage is that, you know, it's out there, the mm -hmm. plants are out there, you can bring it in. and so. I do have a plain and simple series that I designed for specifically people in, in bone ass and with sensitive skin because I had a lot of people approach me saying like, do you have plain soap? Do you have mm -hmm. plain soap? I can't find plain soap. And when I had quite a few people ask me, I'm like, why is no one making plain old soap? Mm -hmm. So this has three ingredients in it. It has water, glycerin, and olive oil. Really? So this, if people say, you know, I can't use anything. That means they can't use makeup, cream, lotions. Then this is like, if you can't use this bar of soap, then you shouldn't be using any of those things. Basically, is three is ingredients. Three ingredients. Wow, that's crazy. And then um, the plain and simple series um, would be it has olive oil because some people are allergic to coconut oil. So it's mm. olive oil, um, glycerin. Um, water and then this one has chamomile. So mm -hmm. this has four ingredients. Mm -hmm. So my plain and simple series are as cool. as simple as possible. Yeah, fair enough. You know, for the sensitive skin. Like growing up as um, Asian, we have a lot of like eczema, dryness, mm. and so allergies, skin sensitivities. And this is you know every bar of soap is used on my family first, my children before they're used on you. It right is on. Uh, human tested. Yeah. Fair enough. I <laughs> I'm like proud that of it. I'm proud of it. Yeah. People are always like not human tested or not animal tested. I'm mm -hmm. like, yes, it is mm -hmm. on myself and my children. And then I release it. <laughs> well, at least you know it works. I mean, that's fantastic. And yeah. there's more information on your website, correct? Yes. What is the website? Bonessoapworks.com. Oh, right there. And your yeah. Instagram and Facebook would probably yes, be the same. At Bonus Soapworks. So that's where you get all like the latest news. Mm -hmm. I post everything on Instagram. Okay. And um, and then my website has uh, more up to date things on like products that are available. Sure. I do support or I do encourage people to go to local retailers to mm. buy my stuff so you can support their business. For sure. Um, before anything. So Oftentimes, really cool. I yeah. actually, I actually price my stuff higher online sometimes because I want to encourage people to shop locally, Smart. right? Yeah. So people get some people are kind of like, oh, why is it more expensive online? Well, number one, it takes me more work and effort mm -hmm. to ship things to people, 
Um, but I also want to encourage people, like, if you don't want to spend that on my stuff, mm -hmm. find someone locally in your community. It right. doesn't have to be me. Yeah. Like, as much as I, I want to grow this empire, um, I want, first and foremost, people to support their own people. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter where you are in the yeah. world. I like that a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, you're such a perfect fit for what <laughs> I'm trying to accomplish here with the parkbench.com. So yes, you are. I, I really do appreciate you taking the time, explaining about your business, showcasing some of your adventure soap. I think it's absolutely mind blowing and I really do wish you the best. Thanks, so, Adam. Thank you for what you're doing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> My name is Adam Fife and I'm with parkbench.com slash bonus or slash Montgomery. So feel free to subscribe to the website, watch the interview look up bonussoapworks.com and uh, support the journey so thank you very much and i hope you have yourself a great day peace